We got this in play today. I only break this out for special occasions. Weddings, anniversaries, film rooms, things of that nature. Welcome to TPC Sawgrass Stadium Course. Got my man Huber here, pulled him out of retirement. Here to kind of walk me through some of these shots, to hit some of the shots. What we're gonna try to do today is we're gonna try to find position A on every single fairway. Whether that's 320 yards out or whether that's 240 yards out. There's enough holes out here where guys are gonna hit less than driver, maybe three wood, long iron, but proper angle as well. See if we can shift you over to one of the sides that gives you the best opening at the green and see if you can attack. Second shot golf course. You know, I think amateurs get beat up out here because there's so much strategy involved in the second shot. You, know, you gotta shape it one way off the tee and you gotta shape it another way into the green. No doubt, yeah. What's the goal today? What do you think? I'd love to see at least five birdies. I think you're gonna have enough wedge opportunities and uh, the par fives will be in perfect shape off the tee. I think you can attack. Um, there's gonna be some where we just, we need to try to avoid bogey, uh, try to get your par. I feel like we need a birdie and a score. I, goal, right? I think if you get five birdies, I think if you had four, we'd be okay with it. Five would be a, a great day. And score wise, if you can keep it at even or under par, that's what we're looking for today. We're going to be extra comfortable out here today as well. This one's for you, Roback. These hoodies, on point. I'm a huge fan. Some of the championship tee boxes are closed. We'll try to get as close back to those on the par threes as we possibly can. We'll have Huber hit some shots in, in spots where, like, hey, here's where the normal amateur would hit it. Like, dink it out here and Huber's gonna take it over the trees. I'm looking forward to it. I think you can attack. I watched you on the range. You, you're hitting in pretty nice. So I'm excited to kind of see what you can shoot today. First hole. Yeah, so and this is kind of typical Pete Dye where it looks like you should hit it down the left, but the left side's way more penal, but now he's he's increased the, the penalty on the right. So this, is, this becomes a way more challenging tee shot and uh, a great starting hole. This one always draws my eye to the right of like, hey, like I should be able to clear that, yeah. that bunker down the right. And like, that's the last. <laughs> That's the last place you want to be unless you can hit it 3 320. Yeah. I think right here, position A, we're going to go 300 yards down the right center of the fairway. A um, little bit right of that tree. A little bit right of the tree, and probably you'll probably have 100, 110, 120 yards in. All right, what do we got going on up on the screen? We got a, a front rider, but it's probably only four, maybe five over the false front. You'll have a, you have a little bit of slope there. I think the green should be soft enough to bring it back a little bit. Flushed it. Sit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Maybe too good. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was going in. I couldn't even get a word out. I'm like, he just hooped it on the first one. What a shot. You made contact. No one said a word. I was like, oh my gosh. I thought you hooped it. I like settle myself. After I know. That. I mean, I'm a little, I'm a little giddy. That was <laughs> pretty strong out the gate. Firm inside left. Yep. Just a quick That's one. one. Just a, <laughs> a very, very quick one. What a shot. Let's go. We may have to today. increase the number to six if you're going to hit them like that. All right, so we got 532. 532. A lot of guys hit three wood here. Anything you can turn over. I don't turn it over very well, so I typically hit driver and just try to ship it up over the trees and cut it back. Jeez. Something like that. Are you serious? It'll be a little left. How many guys in the field, in the, like in the in the actual tournament, can do that? Kucher does it, which is so shocking. I mean, he hits it pretty high. He hits though, it right? high, and it's a fader. Most guys, I mean, you'll see most guys turning something over, but if you go to turn it over and you hang it, right is is jail. This is one where you're not trying to hit a particular part of the fairway, you're just trying to hit the fairway. Just trying to get it in, in the short stuff. As far out there as possible yep. in the fairway. Position A, I'd say we go 240 out, uh, right in the middle, and we'll hit it from there. Got great right. shot, TC. Yeah. So I got three wood, kind of like, you see the two left palms? Yeah. Yep. Trying to shade it a little bit more to the right one. I'd kind of go with the big one to the left. Your miss here is left. Uh, if you get a pin high right, you're chipping straight down the slope and it's it's not really good. Anything left here, you're pitching uphill. Okay. And we got wind in off the left. We got I that like little it. bunker front left, right? Yeah, it's okay. perfect. Turned it into the wind a little bit, but that'll 
Should be in the little low area left there and be pitching up. We're going to get to see my wedges. Now. Yeah, let's, let's, go, let's go get it up and down. <laughs> kind of pulled one left there, but mm -hmm. not, not hey, in a bad spot. I like a 58, a little open, and to be aggressive with it too. Trying to just land it on and let it. Yep. Ah, juiced it. Not the best leave there. All right, well, we got some work here, but we got a look. Came out of there nice. Yeah, it did. Yeah, I like that's your. I think that's your start line. It's pretty and straight until it gets to, get to there, the and then it just is going to yeah. dive over. Okay. I think that's pretty good speed there, Tron. Sit, sit. Man, full firm. Dry. It's a good putt. All right, gave it back, but we, st we, st we still got the birdie in the bank. We got a we got a bank birdie. That one hurts a little bit. In the part threes we're gonna play off the back of the blues. It's maybe I don't know 15 yards in mm -hmm. front. They've got it netted off for the tournament. All right, so we got 150. You said 150. A little down off the left. This is another good one. Anything short right gets rejected. You got it. A little backstop behind it. I, I love a I love a 50 shot a few steps left. Okay. Oh god. Do something. Okay. We can probably putt that one if you want, but it's so shitty though. Three, we gotta hit a better shot. But again, that's not the worst place to be on that no. hole. This is one of the things out here that makes it so difficult around the green is very rarely are you green level. Yeah. Most of the time you're below. Here, you're pitching up. If you land it on, you better generate a lot of speed, otherwise it will literally go over the other side. Putting is your surefire way to make four at worst with a good chance of three. I love it right in here. Okay. God. That's all right. Right speed. Just... Right, right speed, it just shoved it hard. You got a 10 footer for par. There's a few greens out here. This one, six and nine are probably the hardest to read. Flush it straight, I think it goes in. Ha, ah, what a putt. Come on, that was huge. Hell yeah, Hubes. What a putt. Thanks. God, this thing feels good. <laughs> it's big for the psyche. Yeah, it is. All right, number four. This is my favorite hole in the course. This is probably the sneakiest, hardest tee shot. I feel like it's pretty easy. You just dump a three wood out there. If you hit it left, you're on the hill, the mogul, you can't see the flag and you're coming over water and the rough is nasty. But if you start it out down the right, obviously there's a tree that overhangs and... Or it spins too much and you're dumping it right at the bunker. It takes a really good tee shot and then from there, it, it can become a green light with a wedge. We got a left pin today so we can use the slope. Leash loved shipping a driver way down the left and mm -hmm. having a 60 yarder in. Yeah, if they put that pin closer to the water, that 100 to 60 yard range is, is so tough to get it close. And I, I think you'll see a lot of guys hitting three iron here. If they get a little down off the left, three iron, maybe a three wood. What does that leave um, you in? 120 is probably the, the number that most guys are looking to leave themselves. Okay. All right, TC, we got it left pin down in the ball. We got wind in off the left too, which which makes this shot a little bit tricky. Um, you can use that ridge to the right, which I like doing, but this shot's gotta be playing closer to 27. Ah, I flared it. Easy, easy. Fuck, that's gonna be so hard. Easy. Well. That's gonna be tricky. <laughs> that was one of the ones I'd like to have back. You were a little uncomfortable over it. The wind was gusting. That's where I gotta like lean into like, just hit the draw. This is the spot you wanna get it to, where I'm standing. Okay. No way. That was, that, was that was almost more, as good as I've got one. A foot more speed, and that gets all the way. Oh. Bit of a feeler. Depends on your speed here. If you hit it much softer, it's just ripping. All right. All right. That's a good putt. And just kind of. Those are two good putts. <laughs> Just, just kind of shows like out here if you get a little bit out of position, it's yeah. 
on the green, man. Gosh. 471 here off the tee on, on five. One of the two or three toughest poles out here, I would say, and you gotta kinda sh cheat it down the right side, but the bunker's there, but that's your best spot coming in. If you hit it in the left rough, it's, it's almost an auto hack out. But we're going up position A again, and that's gonna be probably 170 in. We gotta get back on track. We gotta couple bad irons in a row. Uh, that's not who we are. We're not gonna let it define us. This is kind of the meat of the course we're getting into now, but um, there's gonna be some chances. Let's see if we can go hit a good iron. What do you got here? I got five iron. I think that's, I think you can kind of hit it too. It's yeah, one. Got a little downhill live, but. We got 172. Pretty, pretty benign this pin, is a, not yeah, a Yeah, this lot is a to... yellow, yellow light. Okay. Just try to get it on the green and see if we can make one. Okay. Go a little. Go. Yes, sir. All right, we're back. Come on, baby. We're back. God, that's a good divot right there. <laughs> that was one of the best shots of the day. All right, 15 feet below the hole. This is like so Pete Dye. You've bogeyed a par five and a, the short par four because the greens are super tricky. And then he gives you the long, difficult hole and you get up here and there's there's a lot more, a lot more generous around the green, which I love that. I think you're. You're looking, your start line's kind of up in here. There's, okay. a, there's a lot, of, yeah, it's a lot like, of hook there. It's like just inside that little speck of yeah. sand, right? Bury it. Hit it. That was a line, man. It was. It's all right. All right, it's we'll take four on that Comfy hole. four. Yeah. This one, most guys are gonna hit two irons, three wood. If you push it up there too far, it's down slope and the green's got so much going on. Is this the kind of hole that you're looking at where the pin is? No doubt. From the tee box? If it's up front, I need, I, most guys will probably leave it back a little bit more. If it's front right, you really need to be on the left side. We call it Dikembe. There's a big palm that has swatted away many a golf shot. So position A here is probably 250 off the tee, kind of hugging that left side. Should leave us 130 yards. Okay, perfect. So we got back flag here. Anything short left is going to catch the ridge and spin back. It's a it's a bit of a tricky one. The best spot here, just short right of it or pin high right. God dang it! Go. Almost got to Kimbe. We're on. We're. It wasn't pretty. But oh we're on. God, that was a bad swing. I think I blacked out over the ball. <laughs> Six, I got away with one. That was a bad, it, chunky. Just a chunk push. Huber, I'm so weak through here. I thought you would be pretty locked in today with the gym shorts. Yeah, I know, I know. But These Roback gym shorts are fantastic. <laughs> this green is super tricky, this right side. It's, it's just really subtle. Uh, I mean, we got 40 feet here and I like it moving left early and then just kind of not much after that. Simmer. God, that's hammered. A little juicy. We're not leaving them short. We're, just... here, we're gunning them, baby. We're trying to shoot a number. Yeah. Nope. You had the line. Just pushed it. Okay. All right. It's another bogey on our shorty. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it hard for ourselves. <laughs> This is another typical Pete die. He got water left, so you want to push it away from that. You hit it down the right side, and if you do, you have those three pop bunkers that are terrible. Position A, we're gonna go probably 150, 160 out up there and uh, down the left side and see if you can make a birdie. Let's make a birdie. Let's do it, come on, baby. I just got like a stock seven iron. Yeah, 150, 155 shot um, at least. You can bump it up to 60. Wind in off the right. That thing's pretty far back there, right? Yeah, it's it's. It's more middle, honestly. It's just, uh, it's tucked over to the right edge. There's there's not much to the right of it. Okay. There it is. Come on. See, like, that should be, like, that was a well-struck. I don't just, that, like, it's not, it's not cutting them. We're not cutting them. Which is weird, right? I'm not used to seeing like, the that high was, draw. That, that, <laughs> I'm not used that was, to seeing I stuck this. that one in the ground, yeah. put some backspin on it. Man. Perfect distance. Yeah, we'll go, uh, we got another long putt here. I can live with that one though. Like that's, that was a good yeah. shot. 
Let's focus more speed here than line. Try to get it up on the high side. Three feet probably. That's such a good putt. Come on. Get Woo! that, baby! Woo! Come on, TC! <laughs> Let's go! Golly! <laughs> That's a bonus. Mm. And that, that feels, feels good. One, man. You know what? I went claw on that one, even though it was a little bit outside hey, my, hey. my normal range. Maybe that's what we do. That is enormous. Woo! Probably 205. Wind off the right again. Looks like a fairly easy pin here on the front of the green. You kind of got swale on both sides, but if you miss pin high either way, it's, it's tricky, so. It's just a sidewinder or? Yeah, you just have, such big slopes coming off short here is pretty money hit a club that, you, that maxes at 200 if it comes up a little short you're fine come on baby come on i might have choked it too much no that is so good we, we're hitting it too good off the tee <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're gonna start laying back let's go 24 degree hybrid <laughs> That's new in the bag. Put your ego in your back yeah, pocket. Put it 200 yards into the wind off the right and you hit it to 12 feet probably. But yeah, it's basically just maybe half a ball outside, right? You see that? Yep. Firm? It's just gonna, yeah, it's just gonna generally break to the left, bury it. Hustle. Hustle! That one hurts a little, buddy. I know. Two of them short in the jaws. We'll take an easy par on eight any day. Comfy though, right? threes are never a bad thing. Love this hole. So new tee box back there, huh? They've shifted it back to the right here a little bit, and they've extended another probably 20 yards. Which this hole is always a little interesting. If you got it downwind like it is today, a lot of guys hit three wood. It's a really difficult green to hit in two. You got room down the left off the tee. Correct runs out more quickly on the right. You can you can get it in the water down the right through the fairway pretty easily. But that's another interesting thing. You try to keep it down the left, then your second shot's got to go up and over the tree. So if we go drop one at, at 310 off the tee down the right side, you're going to have a look at getting to the green too. Everything right now, we got wind down off the right yeah. to where if you can get it turning off the steeple of the clubhouse, it'll chase. Basically, we want to stay out of that bunker the left bunker, the short left bunker. Left bunker's dead. So bad. Yeah. It, you don't have to hook it. Yeah. It just needs to be oh, a draw yeah. off that the steeple. Yeah. This is your moment to get one back on a hole that is somewhat tricky. Oh, boy. Just a shitty, you know, shitty three wood there. Uh, it was probably ask, it was asking a lot from that three wood. It needed to be perfect. Yeah. TC, I think this is either nine or pitching wedge. You've got something working for you here. You're kind of down grain in the rough and it's on a downslope, so it's gonna come out lower. Maybe just so, maybe like a, a 40 yard lob wedge with your nine iron. You have to fly it into that slope. <gasps> Sit. <laughs> come on, baby. He's got a chance. Oh! It went off! No! No! A little collectionary, you can you can putt it from there. That was so good though. Once you get it up on the green, it's just feeding down towards it. You don't have to kinda once it's on, it's just downhill towards towards the hole. Oh god, I missed it completely. I just underestimated this. Yeah, it kicked it right. Ah. We need this one, TC. Hit it. Ah. Come on. That hurts. Made the turn, 38 on the front. Uh, just gotta start playing offense with the wedges. Mid irons have been good. 
We're not in a bad position. I mean, the target goal was even par to start today. You can get three or four birdies on the side. We just got, we can't make bogeys anymore. 10, 11, 12, we gotta, we gotta feed on a little bit. This is one of my favorite tee shots out here. It's a little draw off the right side, which gets your ball down to hugging the left side by the bunker and um, best angle in. That too far left? No. Jesus, Huber, that's, <laughs> that's filthy. Can we, we'll just play it from there. <laughs> Can you hit a nine on 140? Yeah. Then it's an aggressive nine. I want you to be aggressive with this one. Aim it kind of at the squirrely looking palm, just right of the green and hit it. Go. Oh, fatted the f out of it. Go! Go! Like, that's the, just a green a light special. Range, that's yeah. a, you know, like I'm on the freeway on that one and, it, and it's like, just hit the shot, you know? Yep. What's your go-to move in the sand? I like to really open it up okay. and like swing hard, pop it up. I love it. Slam it into the sand behind it, get the clubs, club head moving. Okay. Like speed at the bottom. Ah. Come back. I struggle so much out of this sand, man. See where you hit it off the toe? Yeah. So you're swinging too far left, in my opinion. Like you're, Out it needs to it. be, it needs to be more down the line. I think it's kind of an old adage that you need to cut across it out of the bunker. Now it's more, it's straight. I want to feel the club head going this way, like almost out towards the target instead of left. I got it like here. Not that high. Okay. Really close to that ball mark, yeah, or that little scuff. Lee, that was so good. <sighs> Go make that. All right. Oh, God, Gosh, another sloppy as shit, bogey. man. Come on. Get it together, TC. Amen. All right, I love this hole, 11. Huber says they never play it back here, but if they did, here's what it looks like. I mean. It'd be tough to get home in two with the wind direction here today, but. And you go at the V? Right side of the V tree. Right side of the V tree. Do you have to worry about running out down the right, or? No, you got plenty of room there. Left is where you worry about. If you hit it in the left rough here, the layup, you're almost forced to lay up right because you can't get over the trees on the left. So it's and You a, want to avoid that left bunker at all costs. Avoid cost. the left at all costs. Right, you can kind of maneuver things. It uh, feels very generous, but in reality, it plays kind of small. We're going to go drop it out there, probably 310 down the right, probably have 245 in. All right, buddy. You got wind in off the left. Try to get it on that, that front left part of the green. Okay. Give yourself a putt. This one's for you, Roback. Oh. We're fine. We got plenty of green. It's, we were pitching right up at it. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're in a pickle. Yeah. This is not good. I mean, do we just hit a flopper magoo and try to? You got to get it elevated. You have more of a backstop going left. Get the face open a little, stance open a little, and then just hit it like a 60 yard shot. Ah. We're good. We got to look. It's our first look we've had on a par five. That's best legit. Case scenario, right? Yeah. I'm looking like here. It's up most of the way. Good putt. Thanks. All right. Five's improving over the last couple. <laughs> we'll take we'll take a par. It's been a minute. Twelve polarizing hole in the property. Not many people are gonna go for the green unless you get a situation like today with a front pin where you have some room to hit it. There isn't that much benefit of going for it when you can hit a wedge in uh, with how the green is, but with that front pin, I think it's a go all day. Well, let's, let's see you hit it. All right, you play my tee shot here? I'll play your tee shot. All right, deal. Yep. Oh boy. Go in, go in. Go in. Oh my gosh. Did it go in? Oh my gosh. I think it went in. <laughs> it's it's either in the middle of the green or it's in the hole. Talk to me, Sally. Oh. <laughs> oh How far man, away? that would have been so fun. Oh. We didn't talk about eagles today. 
I'll peel into the wind too. I'll right? peel into the wind, into the grain. It just hung. Great pup. Thanks. Great bad, drive. Bad read. <laughs> hey, that's another birdie. Yeah. That's three. Two away, two away from our total and two over par. So we get them, we'll be back at even. Good roll. I mean, that's like with the wind today, any, any pro is going to. They're going for it. They're going for it and they're going to have probably a pretty easy birdie today. Yeah. It's an easy birdie hole today. 160 playing 75. 75? At least, probably. That pin's all the way in the back too and it's not really in the bowl, so you. Yeah. You're better off kind of pushing it. No. You flushed it. That's plenty. Great shot. Uphill. Good. Nice strike. Let's go. Kind of a wonky pin right here. I mean, if you talk about a spot to putt from, we're in it. Just shy pin high underneath the hole. You really hit the mid to long irons really good. <laughs> the bar that was a, three that was like one of the better putts. That I was just in the jaws. Like that would have been I a hit no the doubt. Shit out of that too. This I would say is probably the hardest hole. The right is so penal. You get in the moguls in the rough, and it's it's almost auto five. And you're dead if you go left. Yeah, you're in the water. Or in our case today, you're going to be about three fifteen down the right center, and which is fantastic. Great day. So let's do it. So you have that ridge there on the right. Yeah. It's right on top of it. So truthfully, a little past and a little left, you're putting right up at it. How much room do I have behind it on the green? Tons. Yeah, I can basically hit up to like a 75, 78 shot. I, I love that. Don't do that. Go. Go. Is that green? If that comes down. He's looking at it like it's on. I know, it'll be close. That's where, like, I thought that one was gonna. The wind just a little off the left held out. That was a, that was a nice solid shot. strike. Yeah. Money number. I feel like we hit a there. really, really good second shot in there. Wasn't necessarily rewarded for it. Um, a yard left, and that gets down to inside yeah. 10 feet. It's gonna kick it out to the right pretty hard. I think you try to go straight at the hole. Straight at it and just like try to hit it to like here. Yeah. It's got a chance. What a putt. Gosh. Thank you. That's classy. Oh, God, I'm just driving it so well out here, man. <laughs> As an amateur, I struggle so much with this tee shot. <laughs> Left here, it kicks into that, the pine straw and trees so fast. and like you, like you think you're in the fairway, and if you, you got any room. sort of draw on it, it just and 15 yards right and you, you can't cover the bunker. We're gonna be putting it out there, probably 310 off of this one, which will leave you probably about a buck 55 in. I love a nine. Up in the 40, air, you're stra shot. straight down wind. Pen's shot. only on probably four or five. Yeah. So this is this is a green light. Okay. Ah. What is that? Not as bad of a shot as it looked. It got farther up there than I think yeah. you thought. That was probably a pretty good place to miss to that That's pin. The only spot to miss it, just short left there. Cubes, I got it forcing it left early, but then coming back. Once right. it gets up on top, it's straight. Give it like. I got like yeah. Right here that. with some speed. Okay. Uphill into the grain the whole way. Easy. Good roll there. Thanks. Money. Oh. Great four. Thanks. We're here on 16T. This is where it, you know shit starts getting real. So Huber's gonna hit one over the trees like he normally does, even though we're into the wind a little bit today. And I'm gonna poof one out to the right and hit it as far as I possibly can. And we're gonna show you the two shot tracers and how radically different they are. It's, it's a tough fairway to hit uh, as a fader. Um, unless you're turning it over, you run out of room to the right pretty quick. So. I'm gonna try to take it up over the trees and give it a rip. Is that farther right? I, I pushed it. Yeah. Uh, 
That was money. That may be further than mine. Great ball, TC. They're going to be in the same spot. <laughs> we'll take that. If it's me, I'm going in between tower and palm and just trying to hit a little, a little cut. Because like the, the issue, if you hit too high of a floaty cut, it's, it's just going to go with the wind and just get smoked. The wind is kicking up right now. I'm kind of glad I'm not hitting it. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to die down. You just, you just got to honestly nut up and hit one. The one thing I couldn't do, man. It is. You got a ball. I'm gonna hit it again. Gosh. Ah, oh, that was money. <laughs> do that the first time, man. Oh. Okay, this is 95. You got it. Is Daniel Berger all right with this one? He may have. He may have had a few words to say, but. I think it's proper. Come off there. Come down. Go make a pop. It's got the pace. I've got it bending a little bit. Yeah, I don't think it does. I'm. Left center. But thanks. Nice roll. Three sixes and a five on these are not our best. What a sick shot, man. It doesn't get old. So we got a middle pin today, TC. This is a little down. It's playing like 32-ish. Like low 30s. I love it. We need to make something happen. Go. What are you doing? Go. It's a really good shot to a Sunday. That would have been nasty to Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy how much firmer the greens got on 17 and 18. 17's bounce, the acoustics it made when it landed, we could hear it from the tee box the land, which is six nuts. feet in the air. Yeah. Typically don't hear him land from 140. I feel like we were playing off this. Yeah. Try to miss it high. Like if anything. It's just gonna hook and get low and never have a chance. Good roll. Thanks. Good speed. Great three. Thanks. We're gonna try to play 18 all the way in from championship tee box. Uh, see what we can make. Yeah. It's time you let it eat here and yeah. make a score. Cut, or didn't, didn't draw money. No, quite as much literally as I couldn't be better. All right, 139, down breeze. I got my 48. I think I love that. You can be aggressive with it. I can bring it in right to left as well. Yep. It's like edge of the clubhouse. And I love that. Okay. And go try to make it. Yeah, Don't I try mean, to hit it close. Try I to mean, make why it. Why not? Give him the lefty hop. Uh, over? Yeah, it's over. Just I I hit that so well. I'm <laughs> I hit that so well. Uh, just don't know how far these clubs go yet. Like that's part of it. And you caught a little gust as you were hitting. And that was flush. Oh, that was flush though. And then speed wise, it's up, up at up the first thirty percent into the wind, and then it's downhill, but the wind's gonna hold it up. So just bar bury it. That's your only goal here. Hit it. I got like just outside left. Just edge. outside left. Bury it. Good catch hole. That <laughs> right fielder. I'll take a four on the own hey. ball. <laughs> Enjoyed it, man. Fun, 75. 
I think we'll take three that. over. We missed we missed only our goals. Three, but only three birds. In all honesty, today. God, I played the par fives like a jackass. You played the par fives. Yeah. We I was banking on at least two birds on the par fives. The par fives and the short par fours. Like other than twelve, we didn't do shit on the short par fours. You didn't bogey a hard hole. No doubles on the card either. No we didn't dubs. Make any crazy, crazy bad swings. One ball out of play. One ball in the water on sixteen. The birdie on the first, you stuffed it. The one on seven, making that putt, and then you hit some beauties on the par threes. You really did. You, hit, you played the par threes nice. Uh, it's just the the par fives just really got you today. It's really, really hard to hit to play golf without playing your drives. Yeah. Like there's no rhythm. You just, it just feels disconnected. I don't know. This place is just really good. Like, it's, <laughs> it never lets up either, too. Like even with perfect tee balls, it's still difficult. At the same time, you can get a lot of short irons and, and birdie looks. That's I think that's the magic of this place.